What is good guys, it's your boy Stock J back with another video and in this video we're going to be doing a quick technical analysis of AMC stock. I'm going to talk about the overall price movement today and what happened. I'm going to go over some Ortex data, some dark pool data and some short volume percentage data out there so that I can give you guys my stock price prediction for AMC stock for tomorrow and the near term future. However, before I get started, I have to mention two quick things. First off, I'm not a financial legal taxation expert, so not take this as financial legal or taxation advice. And also, if you can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. So we assume benefits the entire community as a whole. With that all said and done and out of the way, let's get on with the video. So looking at AMC, we started off around the $47 range before we had this huge drop down to the $43 level of support. And that triggered this big reversal and lots and lots of buying pressure as AMC had another big run up up to the $47.74 range. Now, once we reached that peak price, AMC began to consolidate a little bit and close a little bit below it, a little bit in the red at $46.84 down only 0.97%, which is a big improvement compared to yesterday. However, AMC was in the green for quite a bit of time today as it was above the $47 range and we did peak at $47.74. So I'm still happy that AMC was in the green for a lot today and that makes me even more bullish. But looking at it from a Bollinger Band standpoint, we can see that AMC had lots and lots of upward momentum for the day. Now, this upward momentum had many, many significant movements that were one standard deviation away from the mean given the data from below we even closed around the mean price the mean price right over here in fact we were a little bit above it which is a good sign because amc had a pretty decent closing con considering where it was yesterday and i think it's a good sign for amc because the buying pressure is coming back and amc is actually looking like it's gaining more and more support and it's ready for another move in the upside however i'm not going to give you my specific prediction yet just look at some rsi data right over here as amc had its uh, res uh, reference level approaching the upper band of 70 and had a little bit more resistance coming up and that just shows that the more resistance out there was triggered not just by selling because some selling did happen it did play some role as day traders do enter but remember the large majority of apes out there are not selling okay selling does not play a huge role in amc's price because the large majority of apes out there are not selling their shares. There are so many apes that are buying and holding. So we're doing absolutely amazing. However, this is the re result of something else that's external. And that is known as manipulation. AMC is manipulated like crazy. I'm about to show you how manipulated it is. And that's the reason why I believe that what happened to, like yesterday and even the downward pressure that happened a little bit today, it may not just be the result of day traders like some people may think. It's also because of the dark pools all the you know the things that these hedge funds are doing they're trying to bring the price down and they're trying to shake all the apes out they're trying to do that because there's been many many news out there such as the fact that yahoo finance reported that gensler zeroes in on citadel securities as sec considers payment for order flow ban now i'm not going to promise you that that's going to happen i'm not guaranteeing anything as i do not trust gary gensler the sec totally but you just have to know guys even if this doesn't happen even if pay payment for order flow is not banned the squeeze is still on the table and still most likely going to happen because amc still has that upward momentum and we still have the trump card over these hedge funds all you have to do is buy and hold and not let them trick you into selling now i can't give you financial advice but i'm just making my point as i i appreciate most of the apes that are out there that are continuing to do that but let's look at some ortex data and all the other things that are going on so looking at what was reported by matt chorus according to ortex's data the short interest was at 19.27 percent utilization at 88.11 percent and the shares alone at 108 million so the short interest is still relatively high at over 19 percent and that's pretty insane because that's the bare minimum the bare mi minimum has to be 19.27 percent but it must be even higher if you account for synthetic shares that are most likely out there then you also can't forget about utilization going a little bit down and that is in reflection of what happened yesterday because that what happens is when utilization goes a little bit down it means that there are more shares available to be loaned out and when there are more shares available to be loaned out there could be more short positions created and amc could be more manipulated than before so 
I'm not necessarily worried about that, guys, because I have faith in the apes. Enough apes are buying. We have diamond hands, and we are not giving up. And that's reflected in the volume for today. Yesterday, the volume was around 65 million. Today, it's at 76 million. So we have 11 million more trades for the volume for today. And even though it's still lower than the average of 94.9 million, we're still at 76 million. We're still making progress, and we're still slowly stair-stepping our way up and up and up and up. So AMC is ready for big, big, big moves and i'm super confident for amc but however remember that out of 76 million trades for the volume 66 percent did happen on the dark pools for today and over the past 20 days the average was 64 percent. so there was more trades on the dark pools today and do i think that's a coincidence i don't think so guys because look at the downward pressure right over here look at how amc had all this downward pressure it I, once again i can't promise it's all because of the dark pools but i definitely can presume that they played a big 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 role in what is happening right over here you also have to account for something else that's really big for amc and that's the fact that the short volume percentage has been going up recently there's a big 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 spike over the past couple of days which means over 54% of the trades yesterday were short volume. And that's absolutely significant because more than half of how much AMC was traded was just short volume. And that just means that the hedge funds are doing what they can to once, like I said before, to shake you off, to scare you into selling. However, we're not having it, guys. We're not giving up. We are not quitting. We are strong. And I highly recommend that you remain cool and calm and collected because the squeeze is on the table it's becoming closer and closer as the market is on the verge of crashing and the hedge funds are getting even more angry so a big thing to note guys is the fact that the call options market is showing this right over here that there are 125,000 calls in the money expiring on september 17th at 50 dollars so that's a big 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 number to be looking out for the 50 dollar range the hedge funds are going to do what they can to keep amc below the 50 but it doesn't matter it does not matter to me because i still believe in the squeeze i still believe that amc has massive potential and it's just going to be a game of patience it's going to require lots and lots of time so anyways guys i went over all the big details all the important details that i wanted to talk about and all the data that's going out there and now i just wanted to end this video by talking about what my price prediction is for tomorrow and what i think is going to happen so I think that typically on Wednesdays, the volume has not been as high. However, because AMC was in the red for two days in a row, it's very, very probable that there's more buying pressure coming because you could see the buying pressure has been going up and up and up and up. And AMC doesn't always follow trends, which is why technical analysis isn't always perfect. There are times technical analysis is very accurate and i could give you very accurate predictions just like my prediction from last video i said amc should be in the 48 to 47 dollar range it was pretty close it wasn't perfect but it was close and also guys even though technical analysis may not always be right a lot of you guys like it when i uh, give you my due diligence my technical analysis and i talk about what my prediction is for entertainment and i'm going to do it again so i think tomorrow is going to be a green day for amc we saw the volume pick up we saw a lot of buying pressure that's coming up and given the trend that we have right now i'm not i won't be surprised if there's a little bit of downward push a little bit of a downwards push that happens because the hedge funds are going to try to fight it fight it fight it but i believe that there's going to be enough buying pressure tomorrow to bring amc back to test the 48 dollar level of resistance and consolidate and close maybe around the 47 50 dollar range i believe that amc is going to slowly stair step its way up it's not going to happen super super fast but i still believe that i'm very very bullish for amc because looking at the six month chart we're still in this bullish cycle the bullish cycle has not ended yet this is not the end for amc i like to put it this way the hedge funds are getting angry they do not like us winning having these victories victories that we're having which is why we cannot quit and we cannot give up so i want to thank everyone here so much for listening guys remain strong remain calm remain collected and give amc time do not ever give up on your dreams guys we're doing well the apes have the advantage you just have to be patient the market the overall market is not doing too well right now there's a lot of negative sentiment towards it and a lot of people are preparing for a crash and once again negative beta stocks such as amc are looking that at that as a great day because amc is going to have lots and lots and lots of bullish momentum coming so this is just the beginning guys if you're into amc right now you're just at the start amc has huge potential it's a game of patience never ever ever quit and i will see you on the next one thank you so so much once again for listening guys we are strong we are never quitting and we are going to win peace out